Welcome to this CapCut for Beginners tutorial. In this video, we will take a closer look at the multi-track feature that will allow you to work with multiple clips at the same time. What I really like about the CapCut editor is that it's a multi-track editor. That's something that I'm used to with more advanced paid solutions. So that's something that will allow you to do stuff that's way more advanced with a single linear editor. This basically means that you can stack footage on top of each other. So let me just show you how that works. So I have a clip here and I simply just select it and then I drag it on top of uh, the timeline. So right now you can see that the new clip has been stacked on top. Let me just show you by selecting another clip here. So if I put that on top here, you can see it's the clip that's on the top that's being shown. Let's say that I want to remove a track. I simply just select the clip that I've added and then I press delete and then the track will automatically disappear and be re-entered once you stack another clip on top of everything. You can change the size of uh, the top layer. If you do that by using the scale function here, you would see that the layer that is below that's being revealed on the background. And I can also move the smaller <laughs> resized version of uh, the top layer. I can move that to any position here on the screen. I can resize it, whatever I want here. So that's a super nice feature, something that I use very, very often when I edit the videos here for the channel. So the overlay is much longer than we need. So let's just cut a little bit away of this by using uh, the W option. Oh. By selecting the clip and the W option. So it shortens it down to the length that we need here. So that one stays on top here. So I can take my overlay and I can move it to any position here on the timeline. Let's say that I want to have it here next to the boat here. So maybe the position of uh, this overlay is not the ideal one. So I want to move it to this position. I think you get it for this uh, demonstration uh, purpose. So now I have the timeline and uh, maybe um, it's not in the exact order that I want. So I want to reposition stuff so it comes in a different order. Maybe I haven't recorded everything like on a timeline. So I need to rethink the strategy of my video. And maybe I want the talking part to appear after this, this uh, boat part. And the way that I do that is I simply select the clip and then I move it to the position where I want and let go. And now the talking part comes directly after. All of that is super nice after the boat part. So you can shuffle around with this if you want. Also, you have some options uh, that is a link to each track where you can basically lock the track. So you cannot, if you modify something here below the video, everything will stay in place. You can hide it so it's not even visible. So if you somehow want to rewatch the layer that is below, you can simply hide it like this. You also have the option here where we have audio no, present. You have the option to mute the audio. So if you don't want to listen to the part with the audio all the time when you're editing it, you can simply mute it by using this option out here. So that will give you some options uh, to play around with. The lesson that you just watched is part of a full tutorial that covers end to end the workflow from you importing the footage, exporting it into a final video. If you want to watch the full tutorial in one go, you can access it through this card. Or you can watch the individual topics through the playlist below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.